We're here on week 17 with another pregame week. So starting off Sunday at a different firehouse than normal at the four house in Charlotte on the day. Start with some behind the neck jerks. Hit some drop push-ups um, or clap push-ups. Um, these behind the neck jerks hadn't been doing a lot of them. Um, four sets of three between 235 and then last set was 245 um, in the pounds. But uh, hit some hammer mid row, some shoulders and triceps here coming up. So hit things a little bit different um, that I don't always have access to, which was kind of nice on the day. And everything felt really good here. I mean, this is pretty light for a behind the neck jerk for me. Um, but still, when I hit this groin, that left leg kicking back, it's not a normal split for me. Not as wide, not as deep, um, because that left groin, I think, has creeped into my hip flexor a little bit. So it was... Uh, Still felt really easy on these, felt pretty good. Uh, we moved on to some of the upper body stuff. I hit uh, shoulders, I did. I alternated the front and the side raise here, which is something I normally don't do, which was just trying to change it up. Um, I kind of liked it, I hadn't done this in a long time. And I really liked, I did the tricep movement I did was an inclined skull crusher. But the uh, other thing I did was this face pull, um, lying on an incline, pretty light. Um, almost like an upright row, but upright rows tend to bother my shoulders, and this didn't. This was a different angle, I guess. Felt really good. It was more of a, like a face pull, um, but I really liked it. Also, mix some grip in there. Hit the Raptor handle, 1.75 inch Raptor handle. I think it worked up to like 170 ish pounds. And this is the Hammer Strength mid row. Awesome piece. Just don't ever have access to one, um, so decided to hit that. And then the following day, and I think I threw a little bit more grip in here. We got into a doozy. I actually have those triceps in there too. Um, the following day was really the doozy of the day, and I want to go ahead and talk about that. And obviously, this was a pre-games week, um, so we'll get to the games footage in the next video. But uh, starting the week off, kind of upper body, this doesn't fatigue me very much, um, this type of work. So I went ahead and cr crushed it. Now, the next day was what was unplanned. Um, started the day off with some throws, um, then got into the Rogue Challenge for the month. Um, which took much longer than planned, uh, and then still went ahead and finished my reps and the rest of my workout off. Um, so this is the weight over bar woes you're going to be seeing lately. Um, my timing is just bad. I need to throw it more. I need to throw over a bar more. I need to just quit sucking at this event. Um, I've done better in the past, so who knows? Uh, is it the groin when I really get to the bottom? Maybe. Uh, no excuses. I just need to find a way to get better at this event practicing it more, doing something different, uh, all the above. No excuses other than I need to get back. If I throw it high, I'm leaving them out front, and that's a timing issue. Um, and, and or that one is just weird. Some of them just don't go high. And this, these next couple of weeks, we can't really tell. I was just trying to film from a different angle to see how things looked. Um, but I think it was something around 10 or 12 weight over bar reps. It might have been like a four sets of three type deal. Um, and then here's the third video here. And we jumped into some weights for distance. Um, but let's talk about, actually, here's another one, four. Who knows? A lot of reps. Um, let's talk about this Rogue Challenge and what's been going on with that, if you've seen the videos. So with the Rogue Challenge, they do a challenge each month. It costs $10 to enter, and they have a full year worth of what it is. Uh, every challenge every month, and there's an overall ranking on the year. So this month's was a weightlifting complex, and I figure I'd end up doing pretty good on it comparatively to some others. But this complex I had never done before, um, and or I've never done a heavy thruster before. So it was a power clean, a front squat, and I'm just working on the thruster to try to not tire myself out, and then a jerk. So you can see I'm just kind of like BSing, and here's the first attempt at it. it was a power clean, a front squat, a thruster and a jerk. The heavy thruster is really hard. That's the hardest part of it. Um, for me, also, the mobility, like being in a good front rack, um, the jerk is pretty easy. But worked up to 133 kilos, 290-something pounds, 291, 293, something like that, which ranked me pretty high. I know I was top 10 um, or something like that, so was happy that it scored me somehow fourth. I guess maybe some people got... Um, here's 132, and I ended up having to do another one because I forgot to weigh the actual barbell and caught myself. Um, but started with some jumps and prowler sprints before doing this after throwing. I guess I didn't do uh, weights for distance on this day. It was a different day. Um, mixed that one up. But did the jumps and prowler sprints, then did my block snatches after this and my squats. So we'll see a little bit of that. But here's the top set, 133 kilos. 
Um, kind of impressed. I hadn't done anything from the ground, and the groin held up. And the groin held up with these heavy front squats. Um, and, yeah, just something I didn't expect to, to survive on. But uh, let's see here. You were allowed to step backwards. You were not allowed to step forwards on the thruster. So I dodged a bullet on that one as well. Um, but still, I was actually kind of happy, kind of excited with being able to hit this stuff. I hadn't hit some of these movements at all or any time soon. So that was fun. So here are my block snatches. I went 85 to 90 kilos for five triples. And then I did some safety squat bar Anderson squats, um, which I mark the hole in the rack that I actually do these at um, to kind of work my range of motion um, and, and what's tolerable with the groin. And then uh, here it is. Top set is 300 pounds for five. And then I hit four down sets of 250. Um, I think, I, yeah, I just probably would have taken the, the 25s off and left the chain on is what I did there. So what I'm trying to remember is see what was next on the video. If I have anything from the Tuesday, obviously it's going to dwindle as the week goes on. Uh, we do have probably nothing from the Tuesday. So Tuesday was some strict overhead press, weighted pull-ups, um, and yada, yada, some Nordics and whatnot. So the Wednesday lift, um, this here is the... Uh, drop jump to broad jump, um, just adding a little bit of a depth jump in there, um, plus sprawler sprints. So we lighten the load on the second day of prowler sprints. Um, so it went from 40 kilos on day one to this is 20 kilos on day two. And uh, then I went out and got in the throws. That was the weights for distance throws we hit. Um, and this is just trying to kind of touch everything. A um, couple reps before we head out to the games. And this is the first time I'd ever been to New Mexico. So um, actually had been feeling the thumb torn up, which I normally wouldn't want to switch to the strap, um, but my thumb was pretty torn up from the wob the previous day. So went out and hit the throws. Now I did go a little out of order. I have been throwing first, then jumping, sprinting, but this was one of those mornings where it was like, I needed that other stuff to get me warmed up first. Um, and these throws didn't go terrible. Uh, I don't remember exactly, exactly the distances off the top of my head, but, um, that one got away from me there in the strap and then i'm still strapped up here with the lightweight and i think i get frustrated because it hangs in um, well that was the last heavyweight and i think i tried to strap up with the lightweight um, yes i did and it hangs in there and it kind of pisses me off or i have to go really soft and then it starts st sticking and i think i ditched it eventually um but this day was kind of like wanted to get fast and that was a really good throw there um, without trying very hard is wanting to throw far without trying hard um, knowing that I was getting ready for games yeah I guess I'm wrong um, that was it I, that was a really good throw actually this might have been the day I PR across the board oh yeah I went after that one much faster um, and you can see the little excitement as I turn around so I'm just getting my weeks and days confused um, this one actually went really good I was really happy with how I went um, actually and I remember I went out and threw hammer as well so this led into a ton of sheaf as well um so we come back in after throwing hit block cleans and a front squat um so this was a hell of a training day just because i knew i had travel and i'm still early in the season wanting to push the training and this was a uh, block cleans 110 kilos for five by four which this clean weight is not hard for me and then the front squat was just trying to like 275 for three is not bad and touching it to the box this is where i got out of hand and this is where i've been frustrated with my sheaf so far this year this left side which you see here is the last time i practiced the left side uh, for the year and i've been looking you see i'm exaggerating squatting down trying to exaggerate using leg drive trying to figure something out and drive some power and i am just not finding it on this left side when i feel on the right side it feels so foreign because i've spent 14 years throwing with my left hand in the fork and now i'm switching um after new mexico you'll see in new mexico I make the switch. Uh, just say I commit to it, and I just have to do it. Uh, but I took a ton of reps throwing here, which was kind of dumb. Um, and then the last thing I did with the Thursday before we traveled, um, of course, uh, on this Wednesday, my head, my neck had locked up. And I feel like that's how things have been lately. I've really got to get a wraps on my body and find like a way to stop constantly injuring everything or constantly tweaking something you see how much darker it's gotten as i've thrown these um darker and darker but took thursday as a rest day before we traveled friday um the only thing i did on thursday was i played with the brand new saxon bar we got in hit a 165 saxon bar which so it's late i'm playing with the dog 
and uh, just got done with Epsom salt bath after a shitload of sheaf reps. And now trying to cup my low back back to health. This really not, why did I say low back? My left trap um, neck is locked up and then even compensating, I think, in my right side. So a uh, little recovery work. Going to try to ice bath tomorrow morning. A double up ice bath tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully sleep, sleep, sleep the next couple days. Eat and recover. So here's that Saxon, brand new. Subscribe if you watch this far. You love me. Bye.